Hey guys. Well, today we are going to create an engine. I have an engine here that I want to ship across the country. So I'm going to put it, build and put it in an engine crate similar to that. So it can be safely shipped across the country. Well, let's get started. Okay, so we start off with building the runners of the pallet. We're going to build a pallet. These runners are 24 inches long. And then we're going to nail the bottom supports. So it'll be 24 inches by 20 inches wide. Next, we got the bottom ones mounted. Put the top runner on. We'll nail all those down. Well, once you get all the boards nailed down, I take these. and use a big long lag screw and screw these down and that holds all of your slats in place nice and tight so it doesn't pop apart okay next you put the engine on the pallet and we're going to build um braces and bolt it to the pallet so you take some angle iron and you bolt it down to the pallet so it's secured so now you bolt right there bolt it to an engine mount and then it comes down and bolt it to this rail that we screwed on so now it's a little wobbly slide your board out we'll do the same with this one and then it'll be really solid now it's nice and tight I mean, it wiggles a little bit but once you build the cage around it it's going to be really tight so you got this cross beam bolted 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 all three spots all right so now i cut these boards i like to build it this way so you put these on Screw it, screw it down here, and uh, then I will screw this side down, and then we'll put these sides on. Next, take these side ones, screw them down on the side. The last step is to put the top on and I just nail nail it down. Well and that's how I build an engine crate. Forklift can grab it right here, pick it up, it's manhandleable. Um, you can ship it with confidence that it's not going to get messed up in shipping. They can be rough with it. Well, if you uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, tell me what you think. Thanks.